So I know that I said let's party like it's 1999, but really you guys, we are ushering in a new decade and I thought that this would be a great way to do a very glam, very party look, very colorful for you guys. Hi YouTube family. I'm going to be sharing with you this look, not just eyes, but I'm going to be sharing lips and cheeks with you today as well. I'm going to be working with these two palettes right here. This one is from LA Girl. It's the Fierce and Wild palette. And I think this one is called Untamed. It has a bunch of greens, purples, and a bunch of neutral browns, which I absolutely loved up here. And I'm pretty sure that's Untamed. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to be using the Profusion Metallic. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this today. When you do see me next, I will have one eye done as usual for the sake of time constraints. So if you want to see how I got this look, just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, we're really, really close and we are going to be, as I said in the beginning, we're working with the LA Girl Fierce and Wild palette and this one is Untamed and the color scheme in here is so pretty, you guys, it's just gorgeous. I'm going to be working with very neutral colors. Actually, all I'm going to be using today is this color right here, which is a neutral kind of brown color, then the deepest brown, then the green. And those are the only three colors I'm gonna be using in here. I'm gonna be taking a large Morphe M433, nope, large M441. This is just a buffy buffing blending brush. My brushes aren't clean because I already did my other side. So I'm gonna be going into this lightest color out here and I am loading my brush and this is gonna be the transition color. And as usual, we are just going to start out here on the end. But and by the way, I didn't say this, but my eyes are primed with an eyeshadow primer. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills. The tape is from Sephora. I put it about a quarter inch away from the bottom of my lash line, clear to the tail of the eyebrow just below it so I don't disturb any eyebrow um, pomade or anything that I've put on my eyebrow. And that will all be listed below. And then I'm going to take my Morphe brush and I'm going to go in here. And I'm, this is di a little bit different than what I've done before. I'm going to take that color and I'm gonna load that color from the corner of the eye clear to the corner of the tail. And I'm not leaving a space. Usually I leave a little bit of space there, but as I come in, I'm going to start to gradually leave a space in here. So I'm just going to run that color all the way in to the inner corner, right where that eyebrow is, not all the way down in this corner of the eye, because if you did that, then it would look really muddy in there and we need to keep brightness in there. Okay, I have to go into my color again and I'm gonna tap that off. And again, I'm going to just very gently little stipple motions, push your brush a little. My brush pressure here is really light. And if you notice I'm using, I'm holding the brush way out on the ferrule, almost to the tip. And that helps keep the pressure very light as well. Again, I'm just gonna continue to start out at the tail and blend towards the inner eyebrow until I have it where it looks like that other eye. So what I'm do is doing is I'm following just a little bit of the arch of the eyebrow right now because I don't want it to look like I've got a straight line here where there's no color up towards the arch of the eyebrow. I need a little bit of color there, but once you get there, you can come in almost in a straight line towards the inner brow and just continue to build that up Okay, that feels like it looks really good, looks really close to the other color. We are just going to take the deepest color on a Luxie 231 brush. This is a firm but smaller fluffy brush. Again, going right out here and I'm going to completely cover the whole entire area. I might just stay away from that tail just a tiny bit at this point because this color is gonna get a little bit deeper and then I'm gonna go towards the crease and I'm not gonna come all the way into the eyebrow in here. I'm gonna come just about, just about a quarter inch away from there. That's where that color is gonna stop. So just continue to fluff that up a little bit. Again, I'm clear out on the end of the ferrule here. I'm using an extremely light touch. Okay, and again, look at yourself straight on. Can you see that they look the same? You want to be following that transition color, but you want to be a little bit lower. 
and that looks pretty good. Okay, moving on to the next brush that will use the same color, which is the darkest color in the palette. It's basically just a really flat kind of shader brush. It's more densely packed and it's going to pack on the color a little bit more densely. So we're gonna go into that brown color right there on the corner again, and I'm gonna load up my brush, tap it off, and now we're going to just push the color right there into the corner of the eye, not going further up yet, so that we get a lot of color. See on this side, we have a lot of that deep color down there, and we're doing that again. So and I'm gonna push all that color right there into that corner, and then I'm gonna go back with that last brush that we had, that Luxie brush, and I'm just going to very lightly pull it right out there to the tail again. All right, for the next one, we're going to go into that green color. It's what's gonna be packed on our lid. I'm using a Zoeva brush. It says that this is a Lux Smoky shader. So it's kind of just a flat round shader on there. And I'm just going to really load this brush up. I mean, I'm gonna put a lot on this brush of that green color right there, or the kind of greenish tealish color right there. And then I'm going to take some spray from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna spray my brush quite well so it's almost like so. What I'm wanting is to get more defined right there into this area and keep it down there as much as possible. And the reason is, is because, not that it's a cut crease, just because it will look a little bit more crisp, it will little, look a little bit more refined. You can see that on this eye, well, maybe you can't see that on the camera, it did travel up a little bit. And I think that's because I didn't have my brush quite wet enough, but um, we're just gonna pack that on, pack it clear all the way to the inner eye, and then all the way out, up to where you're covering about, about three quarters of the eye. So you're actually almost going into that dark color. Then you're gonna go back in with the shader brush that had the darkest color on it. And you're gonna just blend those two together. And I will go back and forth with those until I feel like I have those two colors really put together well. Now, when I originally put this color on, I noticed that it was a bit more green. And I wanted to have it be a little bit more on the blue side. So what I did was I picked up my Metallics palette from Profusion, which I love so much because it has every metallic shade you could ever really want. What I decided to do to kind of line it up and blue it up a little bit or teal it up a little bit is take some of this color that is right out there that and brush really well again. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna lightly go across it. This is the easiest way for you to change a look. If you're not liking what you see when you see a look. Now I'm gonna take off the tape and you can see the stark line there. And sometimes, like right now, I got really sweaty while I was doing it. Sometimes it does take your makeup off. So I'll go in with my Damp and Beauty Blender with what was ever left on there from my, um, my foundation. And I'll just pat across there. You can actually see that I already lined my waterline. I always like to do that before I do my concealer. That way I don't smudge my concealer when I'm pulling down to put that in the waterline. This is from Urban Decay. It's a 24 seven um, slide on pencil. And this is called the Deep End and it's very, very turquoise and as you can see it kind of just sets that whole look off to kind of pull it together for the actual turquoise that we're going for and then I'm going to take the Milani pencil and I'm going to go out here and I'm just going to line across not all the way in I'm going to stay about a quarter of the way out of there and I'm just going to line up underneath there a little bit and then I'm going to take a Morphe smudger brush so the M168 and I'm gonna go into this dark color again. This is such a tiny little smudger brush. It just barely has any tip on it. I'm just going to take it and I'm gonna go across and I'm gonna smudge that eyeliner with a little bit of the eyeshadow that we use to tie the look together to the outside, but also the eyeshadow on top of the eyeliner helps pack it on and helps it stay on really good. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into that Metallics palette that I had, and I'm going to go into a gold color, the second color over right here. It's actually very gold. It doesn't look as gold on camera, but it is an extremely gold color, and this is gonna be my inner 
color there on the inner um, part of the eye, excuse me. And I'm going to spray my brush again. I want it to be just a little bit um, more metallic looking than just highlight looking in there for this kind of party festive look that we're doing. And I'm going to just go in there and just touch it a little bit, go up towards the top of the eye and down towards the bottom of the eye. All right, and as one last step, I'm gonna take that medium brush again and I'm just going to very softly kind of just diffuse that stark line that we had from the tape. All right, so for the sake of time today, I did have my contour already done. I'm going to be using the Lumi Bronze It. This is from L'Oreal and I have the lightest color. I'll make sure that I list it. But I'm using a Real Techniques fluffy brush and I'm just going to warm my whole look up with this. I like this bronzer for a more, you know, dressy look or a party look because it has a little bit of luminizer in it. And I'm just gonna take it up here in my hair a little bit and a, down a little bit on the forehead. And what you want bronzer to do is kind of hit the points where you would normally have the sun hit. And I know that a lot of people don't talk about putting across your nose, but I do a little bit. So I'm gonna start out here on the cheeks just a little bit. And again, I'm using a super duper light touch with this. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that in front of your face. Across the chin a little bit and down the nose a little bit. And then I'm gonna do it across my chest just a little bit. Make sure I get out towards those ears. So the ears kind of look the same color as the face. <laughs> you don't want to have a bronzed up face and white ears. That's just not a good look. Then I'm going to take my blush. This is the e.l.f. Primer in Infused Blush. Wow. Infused Blush. And I'm going to be taking my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Angled Blush Brush. When I place blush, I'm going to start out here on the outer part of my cheeks. I'm going to bring it up my temple just a little bit. And I'm going to bring it about halfway in my cheeks, about halfway to where you see your eye is where I place it. Some people like to do the apples of the eye, of the cheeks, sorry, and that is just fine. I'm using my Cody Airspun. This is their highlighter. You guys, I found this on clearance at uh, Walmart the other day and I got their other two colors, but this is my favorite. It's called Snow Much Ice. Anyway, not only is it a pretty highlighter, but it does really good on my mature skin. And I'm just going to hit the high points of my cheeks with that. And you can see that coming into view very quickly. Look at that, so pretty. And then the other side, just a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Next, I'm gonna line my lips with the Believe Beauty. This is Almost Rose. This is one of their mechanical pencils. I really like these. I think they're, they did a really good job on them. Very After I line my lips, I'm going to be going in with the Essence. So it's the Plumping Nude Glosses from Essence. And this color, I think it's 04, that's big or something like that. This is just going to be my lipstick and my lip gloss today. I love that color because it's just a couple shades darker than my own natural color. So you get a nude look without it giving you, you know, making you too washed out. Okay, for the sake of time, as always, I'm going to go off camera. I'm gonna do my liner and two coats on my lashes of mascara, and I will make sure that I link below for you a, a tutorial on my mascara and eyeliner and how I do all of that. But I'm gonna go off camera right now and take care of that. Okay guys, so there is the finished look on it. I love this green on here, and I love the way that it turned out. Let me just pan out just a little bit. So you guys can kind of see it a little bit further away so you kind of get the effect of it. So when I look down, you completely see the turquoise or the bluish green on there. And then when you've got your eyes open, you can see it into the waterline. So I really love the way this turned out. I hope you did too. Please give it a thumbs up if you do like seeing these kind of tutorials. Definitely Let's Party Like It's 1999 or 2019. 2019 going into the new decade. You guys have a wonderful day. I love you all so very much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye guys.